it should not come as a shocker when I tell you that lip augmentations are among the most popular cosmetic procedures in the world. If you are a celebrity or even just in the public eye, be expected to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on your lips. My thing is, how the heck did this become a beauty standard? Like really huge duck lips that look like they're about to explode is the new trend that everyone wants? It just seems like someone just spun a spinning wheel just to choose what the next beauty standard would be. Because this is the most random and revolting thing I've seen in a while. As you know, the ultimate beauty standard for any woman is to have thick, nice, plump lips. This is the thing that everyone wants and people will do whatever it takes just to get big lips. I've done a video before over the lip beauty standards but it did not come out good so here we go again. It would just be impossible to create a video about lips without talking about Kylie Jenner. I mean I have to. I understand that I talk about her in like every other video but so let's go back a couple of years to the iconic King Kylie era. So Kylie Jenner has always been in the spotlight ever since she was a little child on the show keeping up with the Kardashians which is also really sad just because when you're in the public eye just in general you're susceptible to the world and their opinions of you so of course she became really famous by the time she got to her teenage years so famous that she even had her own show called Life of Kylie I believe not gonna lie I did love this show I don't know it was just really entertaining to watch and on the show Kylie talked about why she got lip filler when she was younger she had one of her first kisses with this boy and after they kissed he he was like, wow, I didn't think you would be a good kisser because your lips are so small. And ever since then, she's been insecure about her lips. I had really small lips and it was like one of my first kisses and a guy, he was like, I didn't think you were gonna be a good kisser because you have such small lips. But I took that really hard. Just when a guy you like says that, I don't know, it just really affected me. I just didn't feel like desirable or pretty. I really wanted bigger lips. I would just like overline my lips with lip liner just to create the illusion of bigger lips. And then finally I was like, this lip liner isn't doing it. I ended up getting my lips done. Now I've told this story about Kylie Jenner multiple times on my channel and it always just annoys me so much because I feel like almost all of us have had a time in our lives when we were younger and more impressionable and susceptible to the world and someone either like a friend, a family member, some random person says something little and mean about our looks or something about our appearance and it just creates this insecurity within us that we carry for years. Like I remember when I was younger someone made a really rude comment about my voice when I was about like 10 years old and it took me years and years and years to get over that insecurity that shouldn't even have been an insecurity in the first place and I'm sure that so many of you guys watching can relate to that and how annoying that is and it's not fair and Kylie Jenner got her lips done when she was still legally a child which is at 17 and for a while she actually lied about it which is insane because it's like girl like do you really think we're stupid enough to believe that your lips just magically got bigger overnight and she would lie and say well I just overline my lips I'm like that is such it's like the biggest lie ever I, I don't know I just hate when people lie and it's obvious too it's like dude we see whatever and this was all during her like king kylie era i think she was among the most followed person on snapchat and she would always post on there and have like her crazy wigs and outfits and they were just really iconic and it was a moment and this was around the time that she started her kylie lip kits which is now known as kylie cosmetics but she had such an influence on the younger generation at that time that there was a trend that was created called the kylie jenner lip challenge i remember being a teenager at the time that this this was all going down i'm like what is happening like what is this these teens and tweens would take things like a medicine cup or like a shot glass anything that was small enough to fit it inside your lips suck in their lips in the cup for as long as possible then force it off their lips to see if they could get their lips as big as kylie jenner's <laughs> Now, 
It should not come as a shocker that people were getting hospitalized from this. Kids were breaking blood vessels, bruising everywhere, losing circulation. Like it was a mess. And 24 hours after Kylie Jenner finally admitted that she did have lip filler, there was literally a spike of people wanting to get their lips done. Dr. Leah Taunton of Dr. Leah Clinics told The Independent, her clinic has reported a staggering 70% rise in lip filler inquiries in the last 24 hours. These influencers and celebrities are getting all this cosmetic work done, not realizing that they have such an impact in the younger generation. So many of Kylie Jenner's fans wanted to change their lips and hated their lips because of what they saw on Instagram and Snapchat. And just in general, when we're talking about the modern day beauty standards, it's almost always centered around women. If you take a look at whatever's trending that month or day or year, chances are it's probably about a woman. So when it comes to men and their lip standards, there just aren't any. Men can have the most teeniest, tiniest lips and no one will say anything. Sometimes they'll even be praised for it. Like think about it, when you're looking at a male celebrity at like a red carpet, chances are you're not really paying attention to their lips unless someone, you know, points it out or someone's already talking about lips. Naturally, you might notice their bone structure or their height. Nine times out of 10, your eyes aren't gonna automatically go to their lips. So I was under the impression that the only way to fill your lips is to use thermal filler, which is a really popular method for lip augmentation. But to my surprise, there are dozens and dozens of different methods you can do to enhance your lips. The most craziest method I've seen are lip implants. Like who came up with that? Cause I've heard of boob implants and butt implants, but lip implants? So basically from the articles I've read and the videos I've seen, how this procedure works is that you're put to sleep. And I'm not a doctor, this is just from what I gather. Your doctor will take a piece of like silicone, make a hole in your lip and stick the implant in there. Oh my gosh, ouch, that just looks extremely unnatural, first of all. Second of all, how uncomfortable to just always have something just like in your mouth like that. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but the thought of having something foreign like right there in my mouth area is just, no, like just no. And what ends up happening for these lip implants is that the implant will probably need to be adjusted after a couple years, replaced, or just removed in the future. They can even start to come out of your lips or become asymmetric or crooked. I mean, you could have pay me to put that in my body, no way. No. I've also heard of a dermal graft where a surgeon will take tissue from one part of your body and inject it into your lips after processing it. Mind you that these two methods are supposed to be permanent. It's already tough seeing average normal people doing this to their body, but to see like celebrities doing it with the platform, so scary. Nessa Barrett, a singer and songwriter, talked a lot about how she has been insecure with her lips for quite a while. So as soon as she was able to, she got her lips done. But what ended up happening is that Nessa got her lips done by one doctor. Then she went to another doctor to inject her lips and her lips ended up being a little bumpy and uneven. And her original injector made a video about her, which is so wild to me. I've never seen that ever. Like I, I feel like her injector basically just put her on blast. Hi guys, I'm Dr. K and these are Nessa's beautiful lips that I did last October. Love how gorgeous they look. And then I saw another TikToker say that the doctor that did Nessa's lips should go to jail. So another injector put filler on top of my work. And this is how it looks. Here's another example of my beautiful work. I like lips to be subtle, pouty, and pretty. If you don't do your research, inexperienced injectors can create lip lumps, overfilled filler migration. It's just a reminder for all of you young people out there, do your research see an experienced injector get great results. And she ended up getting some hate and getting bullied because of how her lips turned out. So she went on TikTok live to, you know, just address what's been happening and just talking about her lips and how they make her feel. I don't care. Don't think that they look bad. I think that eventually they will dissolve on their own, but right now they're not bothering me. So why would I touch them? I think it's also very obvious when I get my lips done because they are huge because I swell so much and they bruise like crazy. And this really saddens me because 
because before she got her lips done she was insecure and who knows maybe she was bullied for her lips and after she got them done and after she got them made bigger she still got bullied for her lips and it's like no matter what you do and how you change your body society will literally never accept you even if it makes you happy you could still be potentially bullied and harassed for your body and that just really puts things into perspective for me am i the only one who likes the look of thin lips like they just look so natural and just normal i just think that our differences are what makes us unique these people look so fine before with smaller lips and for me personally i just think the duck lip looks very unnatural and kind of scary but of course because of societal's modern day standards big bulky lips are like the ultimate thing to have but the thing is that lip fillers are extremely dangerous bruising swelling infections i mean your filler can even migrate to different parts of your mouth like who wants to walk around with abnormal looking lips this has just gone way too far like i'm not against cosmetic surgery itself but it's obvious that this lip filler trend has just done more damage than good before you guys choose to get swollen bulky lips please remember that your lips are what make you who you are and it's perfectly fine and beautiful to have normal thin lips end of story if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below and of course i'll be back next week for my next video goodbye guys Thank you.